Hi, it's 72 Daystar out in the walk-in vlog. I was reading a thread on Facebook yesterday. I think it was on one of the atheist pages I visit. I don't even know which one. I, I visit a few. And the question was, is criticism of Islam racism? Now, that seems like an easy one. And the majority of the people in the thread felt that it was an easy no. No, there's not a relationship. Or there's The answer to that specific question is no. I took up the position that there is a relationship. Uh, I take that up for the reason that I noticed there are a lot of right-wing conservative Christian groups that love to highlight all of the ugly stuff that they can find in the Quran and other uh, texts of Islam that make them look bad. Why? I think the end game is to foster fear of not just Islam, but of people from Muslim-majority countries, because in case you haven't noticed, the larger proportion of people who practice Islam are not white. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, that's true. They are uh, people of color. And so this is a way to in, in a, have, their, have their means of fostering fear against foreigners and at the same time deflecting criticism saying, hey, this is a legitimate thing. Look, you liberal lefties, you guys are out there criticizing Christianity on nearly the same basis. Here we are just highlighting the, some of the problems of Islam in much the same manner as you criticize Christianity. And... Uh, and deflect any accusations that this might be about racism. Um, however, it also seems to pit liberal left people like myself, who I'm also interested in criticism of not just Christianity, but of Islam as well. Uh, but when I do, I sometimes find myself on the receiving end of accusations of racism. Um, and I've given this quite a bit of thought of what are my responsibilities to the innocent Muslims who just want to live their life, who don't really take... Uh, well, or in most cases, when I have talked to these people, it's that they they may compartmentalize it like this. Okay, there is a nasty verse in the Quran that instructs us to make war on the unbeliever, but I think that only applies under certain circumstances. Minimally, maybe it applied to Saudi Arabia of Muhammad's time. Um, maybe more broadly, it, it applies when we're being oppressed. And there's all sorts of gradients in between. I think, ethically, we have a responsibility to watch out, especially in the modern context where there are there are a lot of uh, Muslims who are suffering from discrimination on and, and suffering from the fostering of fear from the religious right and perhaps I have to accept some responsibility for this as well. If I talk about the scary verses in the Quran without contextualizing it, without um, consideration of the possible harm that it might do to innocent Muslims, I, th I think I have to accept some responsibility for that. It's a, it's a difficult issue. It's, a, again, a polarized issue. And I think there are, there are a lot of people on both sides... Particularly, I'm interested in the liberals who are criticizing each other, the, the left-leaning humanist liberals who end up on different sides of the fence on this issue. If we could resolve that, I think it's resolvable in, in uh, recognizing our responsibility to stick up for, for an oppressed minority. And at the same time, I think people on the other side, uh, that is, those liberals who are criticizing other liberals for being critical of Islam, I think they have to manage to own up to their responsibility to protect Muslims who are themselves oppressed by 
ideological systems founded on the founding texts of Islam. Okay, any criticisms are welcome. 7-2 Daystar out.